This project uh, it is a seminar which is a part of one uh, big project which uh, is uh, for one and a half year is lasting. Uh, it's a part of the Erasmus Plus program under the Key Action 2. The project is called Digital Creativity and Employability in School Education and it has the aim to um, to train young people, especially young educators, which uh, they would like to improve their skills and to put some new, dig new uh, to use some new creative ways and uh, use digital this modern technology into their classes or into their seminars. Two, one. I guess uh, we started presenting ourselves, so we started uh, introducing and um, get to know each other. And um, we presented um, a lot of projects from Denmark or from Germany and so on. Um, we've been talking about uh, continuing this project into a further project when we get back to our respective organisations and I think that's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out, what different ideas we can come up with and how we can play those out within the places that we work. I think that will be really effective and I think that collaborating on the ideas is going to be really helpful so I think doing workshops and seminars like this have been really good. And then we compared um, different examples, what we have done in the past, maybe what we will do in the future and how we work with the topic um, yeah, transition and vocation and preparation. Uh, so far the groups uh, they were working together uh, on several uh, topics and uh, several subjects such as audio, video, online journalism. The social media workshops were an opportunity to um, cover with people from other organisations how they can use social media tools in their work. So depending on what they do in their organisations it can either be um, in terms of administration or it could be working with students inside of their classes. So we looked at stormboarding, we looked at animation, we looked at um, various social media tools that can be used in order to engage students and give them the skills necessary to go into employment. On social media and uh, video workshops we learned about very useful applications we can use in creating presentations, brainstorming, writing projects, evaluating the things we didn't know that they exist but now when we know we'll implement them because they are very easy and practical and they will make our job easier when we work on projects. I really think it makes sense because people are looking for ways to understand Europe and knowing that like if, if, uh, if kids in Denmark they do a project that originated in Macedonia that, that will actually include Macedonia in their mind map so it's kind of it's beautiful. This is exactly the way that it's supposed to be. It's going to be very useful and uh, not only for young people but uh, for everybody, for uh, companies, for the education system, for the government, for young people, even older they can use this, uh, uh, these examples from the other countries. It's good to share ideas um, and certainly the way that other organisations work. I've seen that some of the Macedonian groups have taken into consideration the way that other organisations work and they're coming up with new interesting ideas already. I am really looking forward to be in a very nice cooperation with these people. I think it's been really good. I need that. I feel excited for the future and hope that all, all people that are participating on the seminar will participate in the future too. What if we were from seven, eight, nine, ten countries? We should all work together much more, not just the participants in this project, kind of everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's just been really, really nice to talk to people about things and to share ideas and learn what other people's problems are. In one sentence, I would say that it has been very creative and good fun.